Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can set up your mobile phone or tablet to remotely control your Fire TV stick or cube. This is handy if your Fire Stick or Cube's remote control is not working. Now, I must say that before we start this guide, you must be connected to a Wi-Fi network, the same Wi-Fi network on your Fire Stick and your mobile phone or tablet. Hang tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can remotely control your Fire Stick or Cube from your mobile phone or your tablet, whether it be Android or Apple. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, go into the blue and white App Store icon as shown on the screen now, and then go into Search, which is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and then tap where it says Games, Apps and More below the big search, and type Fire. Fire TV Remote. Then tap on Fire TV Remote just below where you've typed it. And what you're looking for is this Amazon Fire TV just there. Tap on the cloud if you've downloaded it already or tap on Get if there's Get there. But it is this one just here with that logo don't go for one of these other ones. These are third party apps. I'm not saying they don't work, but this is the official one from Amazon. So tap on that and it should then start downloading. Once you see open, then it has downloaded. So tap open and then OK to this if it says Fire TV would like to use Bluetooth. And it says there to use the Fire TV app basic functionality, you must allow local network access. This is only used to set up and communicate with Fire TV devices on your local network. So tap sure at the bottom of the screen. And this is the part we do need to OK. So it says Fire TV would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. This app will be able to discover and connect to devices on the networks you use use so tap on OK this is very important if you don't allow it then it ain't going to work so tap OK and it says here turn on notifications to get Fire TV app announcements special offers recommendations and more you can update your notification choices at any time in app settings now it's OK to tap allow at the bottom of the screen here but if you don't want it to send you notifications then you can always just tap don't allow here so that's what I'm going to do I don't want it bothering me so tap don't allow and and then here you go, here's a list of Fire TV devices that we have and we just tap on the device we want to remotely control. Once it connects, you will see it says on your Fire TV stick or cube, it says to pair with your Fire TV, please enter the pin below in the Fire TV remote app on your mobile device. You'll only have to do this once to pair your mobile device. So if you did not initiate this, you can ignore it, but we did. So on my mobile device, I'm just going to type in now the numbers 4831 in the spaces provided. There you go. Very fine pin. And there you go. That is now remotely controlling my Fire TV stick or cube. And if you've got an Android phone or tablet, then what you need to do is you need to go into the Play Store. That's this white icon with the arrow, the multicolored arrow pointing towards the right, as you can see on my phone just there. Tap on that and then tap in the search box at the top of the screen and then type Fire TV remote, then press the magnifying glass at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And what you're looking for is you're looking for this icon just here, Fire TV, as you can see, denoted by the arrow. Tap install, let that install, shouldn't take too long. Then once it's installed, you should see open, tap open. And here it says, allow Fire TV to send you notifications. Well, this is up to you. I'm not really that bothered about notifications. So I'm going to tap don't allow. And then what you want to do is you want to tap on the Fire TV stick or cube that you want to connect to. Up on the screen of the Fire Stick or cube, you'll get a number come up. Type in that number and away you go. So here we go on the phone screen there. It says mini remote. You can now control your Fire TV from your phone's lock screen and notifications panel. To dismiss the mini remote, tap close. So let's just press OK. And as you can see, we've got all the features of the remote here. So if I go right, as you can see on the Fire TV stick or cube screen, we're going right. If we go left, it goes left. 
We've got the home button. We've got the menu button. We've got the back button, the rewind and play. We've even got this here, which can minimize that so that we can see the down button. And that's the middle button just there. We've also got a keyboard just up there. So if we want to type in any text, we can do that. Say if I was searching for something. So let's just go into find there and I want to go to search. Let's just move the camera over. I can tap in the on-screen keyboard there and just search for something. So there you go. So say if I was searching for download, I could type it in on there and then press the, uh, the button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then press the middle, uh, go down to download there and press the middle button on the remote control. And there we go. Like I say, got the back button there to go back, got the home button to go to home. And if we need it, we've also got the menu button. So if we was in something that required the menu button, you've got that there. You've even got the Alexa button at the top just there. I don't know if you can see that there. That's just in the middle there. We've also got a button here for the apps. So if I tap into that, these are all the apps. The ones with the clouds beside them are apps that are not actually currently installed, but they're installed on the cloud. So if I wanted to go into, say, BBC iPlayer, I can just tap BBC iPlayer there and there you go. It then loads up. If I want to come out of it, I can just press the back button there and tap the middle button to confirm and there we go we're out of it if we want to go into settings then we've got a cog in the top left hand corner so we can tap that tap settings and there you go the settings menu comes up or if we want to put the fire sticks to sleep can tap on the cog and then just tap sleep and there you go the fire sticks gone off and then i can just tap any button on the remote and that wakes it back up again. So there you go, that guide showed you how to install the remote control app officially from Amazon on your mobile device, whether it be Android or iOS. I hope this guide helps, and if it did, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're in the market for a VPN, a new Fire Stick, a new Cube, or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of links down there for you, including a link to my Amazon store with all the stuff I've bought recently from Amazon and loved. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, if you see anything that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might be interested in, in then please don't forget to share that on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.